Hello. I got a really annoying dog over here who wants to play with everybody and nobody nobody wants to play with her anymore. They want a break. So she's on the other side of the gate and I apologize. Oh, and it's on my night. You gotta get that, that lighting up in here. Okay. So. I've just been asking someone to, sh to tell me four random things because these guys, they're not getting it. We need a challenge. So, this is what was on my four things. And it's like four o'clock and I have to take lasagnas in a little bit, so I'm starting part of it now and then I'll have to come back when I'm back. But, the first item, french fries. I picked crinkle crust. Crinkle, blah, 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 blah. crinkle cut for no particular reason other than I think those are the fries that people will least like in this house. There was also spiral fries, but for my idea, I already have an idea. That's how I picked this one, out of all of them. Bacon. Green beans. These are from the food pantry. The french fries are from the food pantry. And garbanzo beans. What is this mix? These are also, these are from today's food pantry that you have not seen yet. And then I only just realized now that I needed to start. Oh, my eyes are itchy. So look at this. I've been wearing these glasses for like a week. Oh, I'm gross. Um, I have Easter dinner in the sous vide, a roast. So I threw my chicken in there just to defrost it. But that's, I can bake that in a minute. So this is what I'm thinking, guys. Remember, these are my items. So if you, oh, hello, hi, welcome. I'm Laura, I'm a mess. Um, here, I cook dinner for you every night, but you never show up. So I just keep cooking and showing you what you missed. Um, right now, I am training. Uh-oh. You okay? Come here. Um, right now I am trying to clean out my food pantry, but my food pantry, I keep calling my, I don't have, I don't own a food pantry. I own a pantry in my house with food in it. And, um, I want to use that, the weird stuff that you just accumulate. And, sorry. She was here and then she started sticking her tongue out and there's weirdos out there and we're going to edit that part out. So when it abruptly stops, you'll know why, because I'm not letting my two-year-old stick her tongue out on a camera, even for 1,500 people. <clears throat> so back to what I said. I want to use like the weird stuff. I have 9 million pounds of French fries. Everybody's coming over. Um, I don't know the date yet, but you guys are all RSVP'd for that. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm doing like a chopped challenge. Um, so tonight, in the chopped kitchen, we're going to make chickpea french fry gnocchi, which I've never made even regular gnocchi, so that's just going to be brave. And then I was inspired by Amber from Mama to All's, one of her last videos of the challenge she just finished, and she did a bacon, pretty much it was bacon wrapped everything. She did the bacon wrapped jalapenos and the bacon wrapped chicken. I think she wrapped herself in bacon for Josh at one point. Um, just kidding, she didn't do that. But I'm going to do bacon wrapped chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. And then just a side of green beans. Because we don't usually eat canned um, veggies. And I need to use some of them up because like the good Lord blessed us with all of Del Monte's green beans over the last year. So I need to be using these and other things in like soups and stuff. So I'm just going to do that. Maybe I'll throw some bacon in there, but I need to cook. I'm not going to use the whole can of garbanzo beans because I want them to be too heavy, but I'm going to, I'm going to turn the potato, the French fries and this into gnocchi as a side. Like maybe like a mac and cheese gnocchi. Uh, gnocchi and cheese. So, I don't, you know what I mean. So I just need to get this started cooking. So that's, this is it. Like you're just seeing first five minutes. I'm going to cook this and then I have to look up a recipe because I literally, I have no idea what's in it. Like if I, if I try to invent it, 
then it'll just probably be potato balls, potato bean balls. So I'm gonna cook them, I know that much. And then I'm gonna be back with my other ingredients. So um, I just don't feel like you wanna watch me boil some potatoes. That's not very exciting. So I'm gonna do that. It'll probably take like 15 minutes. So I'm cheating. I don't have five, my five minutes today. Don't tell the producers, they'll cancel me. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna get this chicken going. Um, I have some of them that I'm not gonna do bacon wrap because I've honestly never had bacon wrap chicken. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it. The thing with doing, um, <laughs> defrosting it in the sous vide like I just did means that um, it's a little, like, it's like if you were to defrost it in your, in your uh, microwave. It kind of cooks it a little bit, but I needed to get it cooking. So, um, you know, the basic ingredients or the basic spices garlic and onion salt pepper and I got some white pepper today and I treated myself to a new spice I really like these kinder spices this one's a blackened with cayenne and lemon. I always wanna say Kanye. It smells good. Chili pepper, paprika, garlic, sugar. Pretty much is it. So, try that. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on it to like caramelize, I think. I don't know if it'll, it'll stay, but this is my my thought process. And this, um, these are almost done boiling. Actually, I'm going to turn it down. Okay. Let's flip this over. I turned my oven on to three, to um, preheat to 375, but I don't think I'll throw them in until I leave. So then that way when I come back, you know, we'll pretty much be done. Or maybe, a, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't. We'll figure it. We're figuring it out. But we're going to put these together at least. Not putting a ton of salt because the bacon has salt, and I'm wondering if I want to sprinkle some Parmesan. Will that be too complex? Is that too much? Am I doing too many things? You know what? You know I like to make it have 500 million ingredients just in the base layer. I think we're going to. I have some shredded for my yolky because apparently it's a very bland. And you, um, some people put Parmesan in it. So I don't know, I was just thinking like a little, little touch. T touched by the Parmesan. I was thinking touched by an angel, not like creepy. Okay, and then I did read like a recipe. I'm not following that recipe, but I wanted to make sure I knew cook time and all that. So they said thin bacon is better. I don't know if that matters. I would imagine just so it crisps. And we just wrap it. Is that good enough? Amber, is that good enough? Okay. I'm going to wrap these and then I'll be back. This is what we are working with. They turned out, they're hot. They turned out, I think this is gonna work. Um, it says to either mash them or to rice them. I don't have a ricer and because of the garbanzo beans, oh, that's hot. I think I'm just gonna throw them in my food processor and I'll be back. This is the part that scares me because um, you're like the consistency, I have no idea, I have no idea. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna blend these up. I'll be right back. 
I, ha I have them done, but I'm supposed to let them cool for 10 minutes. Um, and I have my chicken done. I kept, like I said, a couple pieces out without the bacon that we can eat during the week. But I just looked at the clock and I was supposed to have these delivered 15 minutes ago. And I'm not even in the car. So, I, <laughs> I'm going to be back. And we will finish making this when I'm back. But pretty much the components are there. And now I'm worried my things are going to be too cool. That's life. That's life. See you in a minute, bestie. Guys, I'm on my way to deliver this and I'm at a red light, but I ran to the dollar store to get some stuff for Easter baskets and look what they had. Nancy Drew Clue Crew books. I don't know if they're age appropriate for my 11 year old. She doesn't love reading, but I got the first four for $1.25 each. Which, yeah, I could go to the the book, the DI and get them cheaper, but check your little, check your, your Dollar Tree. Okay, I gotta drive. Bye. My lens is dirty. I left an hour and ten minutes ago. I just threw the chicken in. Um, let's see. Let's figure out how to make this gnocchi. Let it cool for 10 minutes while well, that part's done. So now we're gonna fold everything until it's a dough and then we're gonna transfer it to a lightly floured surface, gently knead it and divide it into four portions and roll in shape it to look like a snake. This is from All Recipes, by the way. This is just called gnocchi. It's very descriptive. Okay, so I don't know what the dough is supposed to feel like, Let's try. Okay, I'm also gonna add some Parmesan cheese for some flavor. Some garlic and onion. Not a lot, just a little bit. Some salt. Who is meowing? Okay, and then we're gonna fold in our egg. I'm gonna switch for a smaller egg. Okay, we went from a V nasty to a ludicrous egg. And we're supposed to fold in the flour. But because I'm not making what they made, I'm not sure how much flour I'm supposed to fold in. So I'm going to start with like a tablespoon. This is a little, this was sitting in the microwave while I was gone. I didn't think I was going to be gone that long. But it literally took me to the end of, of Ogden. I'm going to need more. We have a chicken in the chicken hospital. Um, another tablespoon. I went outside to give them some spinach. That's from the food pantry video that you haven't seen. And walk it. two of them had escaped. And we figured out how they were escaping, but... I go in the in the thing and I'm giving them the the spinach, and all of a sudden, or I go to walk out and I look at the ground and I see one of the new chicks. Well, she's she's a newer one, just laying on her side, and I was like, oh my gosh, is she? Why is this on? Oh my gosh, I left the burner on the whole time. Good job. So I panic because I'm like. This is not turning into a dough very fast. Is she dead? Like, I could see she was alive. Like, right after that thought. So I go and I pick her up and try to just stand her up or see if anything's wrong. She can't even stand on her foot. So I get Josh so that he can help me get through the house with the chicken. And we, like, examine her. She has no wounds. 
but her, she just can't stand on her foot. So gave her an Epsom salt bath so she could, um, maybe she just moved it wrong. I don't know, but it almost looked like it was like cramped, you know, so she's in the bathroom now and she's just hanging out in her little tote and she's standing up a little bit better. So I don't know. I don't know if she tried to escape with it. Well, she got out. I don't know if she got hurt when she tried to escape. But one of them had bent one the the screen that goes around the coop and wiggled enough that they could get out. But it was the, it's two small ones, so she's a little bigger. And I'm wondering if she got hurt trying to come through. I don't know, but she's doing better. Oh my gosh, how much freaking I didn't think I was gonna need this much. Not nah, some more perm. I'm gonna add all my perm. Have you guys made gnocchi? I don't know if I even actually really love it. I've had it a couple times. But that was my idea for today. I have Everything, all the vegetables cut up for tomorrow for roasted vegetables. And I have my meat going. I need to make, potentially make a pie. Okay, I think we're getting there. And I need to make bread. Which I might do tonight so I can just set. But my bread hasn't been turning out. Standing up now. Yeah, she was standing up when I went in there. She's just not. This isn't. What are you making, Mother? Gnocchi. Gnocchi? Mm-hmm. That's what his cat's name is. Gnocchi? Yeah. No. Isn't it spelled like G-N-O-C-C-H-I? Mm -hmm. Uh, go, you left the pantry open. Tina, stop being fat. Tina can get the dog food out of the pantry. Okay, this is not turning into a dough. What am I doing wrong? It's so sticky. Is it because I'm doing with... Pepper. I'm doing it with not the right things. Okay, I don't know how much that is. Like a quarter of a cup maybe? A couple of tablespoons? Also, probably not very smart to try and make, make something I've never made before wrong the first time I ever make. Every time I think it's close. Gosh, my hand's getting tired. Okay, are we, are we, is it gonna be sticky? I wish that they would say like, should be still kind of sticky. So I can't roll that yet. The actual recipe said three potatoes and one and a half cups of flour. But since I wasn't using actual potatoes, plus potatoes are different sizes. One second. Potty break. Hi. I didn't have to go potty. The dogs have to go potty. Uh, Lucy, too, needs to go potty. Okay. How, is that is that looking good? It's still very sticky. Should I Google it? It's very thick. I guess I should try, huh? I might add a little bit more and then like a tablespoon. Because it's very thick. With the chickpeas. So I think sauce wise on here, I want to keep it real light. Just maybe like some butter and parm or something. 
I think that's what we'll do. Okay. That, that's where we're ending. Because it says not to overwork it, but I feel like I'm overworking it. Okay, now we need a lightly flower or service. That's not lightly. Okay, whatever. Okay, and then it says knead it a couple times. Not too much. You gotta give it to old whack peru. Okay. You know how much I love sticky hands. Okay, divide dough into four even portions and roll and shape it like a snake. What am I supposed to cut it with? Oh, I have the thing over here. I'm trying to not turn my lazy Susan because it makes it crazy sound. I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to use this. Okay, it got kind of loud. Sorry. And now I have to roll it to be like a snake. I'm going to I'm going to dust my hands. Ew. Like what kind of snake? Like a, a bowl constrictor or a garden snake? A snake that just ate? Okay. Into long snakes. Three to four inches in diameter. Does that look like a good snake? Well, oh, this guy's rolling. Did I tell you guys that I really like worms? And that when it rains, I get really sad when they get washed up and I save them and I put them back in the dirt. Like, I'll, I'll get them out of the water. And in high school, people used to make fun of me. Because they said it was weird. I'm like, um, can you, we need worms, hello? Okay. Woo! I made some snakes. Snakes on the plane, Tina. Snakes on the plane. Oh gosh, I hope I'm recording. Phew. Okay. Did that right, at least. Okay. Cut snakes into one inch, one half inch long pieces. Transfer the gnocchi onto parchment paper dusted with flour. Bring a large pot of lightly salted water to a boil over high heat. Working in batches, drop the yolk in for three to four minutes or until they reach to the top. Why do I have to transfer it to a thing? Tina, have you ever made yolky? I'm not understanding this fork business. I should have watched a YouTube video, not just read something. Cause I'm not I'm not doing this right. I don't think. Mm. 
It kind of just looks like a... I don't know. Let me... I'm, I'm going to look at the YouTubes. Okay, so the grandma that's teaching me... Um, she did this. Well, she's a lot better at that than I am. Hmm. I got a bigger fork. What 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 is she doing? Oh, she's pushing it. What? I think my mine are too big. She goes like. All right, I make it this, and I got a food over there. Hmm. I don't. I don't think we're we're doing this. I don't think mine is has enough flour. Okay, guys. We're gonna pretend we're making this. What we're what we're gonna do? Let's see if this even works. Well, well, we're waiting and seeing if that's going to work. I'm going to see if it's a flower situation. I added a little more flour to see, but I can't do her little... Ch -ch -ch. And then, like, the other guy I was watching, he had this, like, board. Oh, what if I just did that? That was like a caterpillar. But it's floating. Look. Can you see? Did I do it? Let's taste it. Okay, hold on, it's hot. I took one out and I tried it, and it um, was real doughy. But I think if I cook them, I think I'm gonna like finish them in a, in a, in some oil. I mean, they are kind of slimy little things, aren't they? Okay. Here's one out. Let's, let's see. Turn move. They really, really don't have a lot of flavor, do they? Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is cut them and then I'm gonna like, like that. Mine are not perfect. And that's how I'm gonna do mine. I think mine are too big. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these and I'll be back. Okay, I have some bacon cooking, but it was one slice of bacon for the um, green beans. I'm never doing this again. This was, I don't even like this. <clears throat> Enough to ever want to do this again. So I'm putting some butter in here. And I'll put some basil. I'm trying to eat my butter. And some garlic and onion and salt. Because they are so bland. before I throw the green beans in. And I need to check the chicken and Sherman is trying to help me. Where's the... Not 
chicken is done. Okay. Throw the green beans in there. This looks like utter garbage. And I didn't even make them all because I need to feed everyone. It's after seven. So I'm gonna like kind of pan fry them up. I'm gonna sprinkle some of this buttery herb blend on them too. I'm gonna take my chicken out. I'm gonna leave it in there because I have literally have no counter space. So I just want to brown these up, warm this up. Have a little tiny bit of butter I'm gonna throw in there. Parm. Ah. So it's like such a weird shape to hold right now. The flavor of the spoon is good. What are you guys doing? Just watching this wrong thing go up. I'm sweating so bad. It's 7.30. So this is my soup. Chickpea and um, French fried gnocchi in a butter sauce. Try it. I thought I put it up high enough. It's good. Okay, try it. Mm. Is it really good? It's really good. Are you lying? No, not at all. <laughs> Have you had gnocchi before? <laughs> I've only had it one other time. So it's good, but I don't know if it's if it's what it's supposed to be. We That's don't know dinner. What <laughs> I'm gonna show you the plates. Things are coming. I'm sweating. I'm dying. One second. That's what it looks like. I just threw a quick salad on our plates to balance out of the bacon fat and butter. But that's dinner. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be on the chopped block today. Hopefully I can pull through. Thanks for stopping by, best friends.